Greetings viewers and welcome back to my channel where gaming and anime is my specialty. And today we're gonna to be talking about Silver Chariot. Talking about how it went from an elegant knight in shining armor to its broken, hollowed, wandering state. Now without further ado, let's get straight into this. <laughs> So first off, let's talk about um, Silver Chariot's first appearance and overall physical appearance. So first, Silver Chariot is first seen when Polar is confronting the Crusaders with the you know star on the neck thing, and that's when they're going to fight. So Silver Chariot come. He reveals Silver Chariot by throwing the coins through a sword and stuff. And Silver Chariot's physical appearance is seen. He had he's like a robotic thin you know. Arm knight. Basically, he was thin knight. He all it's obvious that he was supposed to be a knight in shining armor. Um, he has his um jewel on his forehead and tiny little spikes on his helmet. And then he has his blade, the rafer, that is basically you know the type of blade. It's more, the type of blade that we use for fencing, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Silver chariot has the t can take off the armor, has non armor state. And that makes it supposed to be, make it super fast and faster than speed of light or faster than star platinum. Um, and then it, it's so fast to create after images or clones, star clones, with them. And but that was never used again, so it doesn't really matter. So he travels with the Crusaders on with their battle to meet the man who you know killed his sister. He's on a uh, quest for vengeance, and he wants revenge against J. Gel and his stand, Hanged Man. So after a few battles, he finally um, finds Hangman, or Hangman confronts Polonip to try and bait him and get him alone, which ended up working actually. And then um, whole host confronts Polonip, and then they do their battle. Um, Abdal ends up dying because of Polonip's negligence, but then, um, Hangman decides to pursue Polonip and Kakyoin, and the, the, he has him. JHL has him cornered with um, his stand, but then Polonip. He um, overcomes it and he ends up slicing up Hangman and then he ends up slicing down JJ, hailing him onto a gate and he's dead. So Polar has gotten his revenge, but his quest doesn't end there. His quest is his adventure is not over just yet. After Polar gets his revenge on Hangman and JJ, he goes on a few more adventures with the Crusaders until they finally get to Dio's mansion. And that's where Polar has his big anticlimactic, um, his big climactic battle with Vanilla Ice. So Vanilla Ice, Polar, Iggy, and Abdul are fighting, but then uh, Vanilla Ice ends up killing Abdul and Iggy, and then Polar is left to finish off Vanilla Ice. But at this point, Vanilla Ice uh, is, is a vampire, keep in mind, so he cannot, he, no matter what he does, he won't be able to die. So he technically, he's a vampire, so Polar is, you know, slaughtering him, turning, um, slaughtering him and turning him into a pit cushion, just like he did with J. Gel, but it's not working, obviously, because he's a vampire. So then he uses his final technique, the best technique and weapon that he has at his disposal at the moment, the sun. He slices up a door and has the sun come into the room. And then as Vanilla Ice is unaware of this fact that he cannot approach the sun, he loses his arm and a leg. And then Polonarif ends up finishing him, but not by his blade. He just nudges him to his death by light, with that, and just as a sign to say, you scum, you're not even worthy of dying by my blade anymore. That's basically, I thought that's what the message would have, that's, that's, that's the message, the silent message. Then he sees Abdul and Iggy's soul float into the heavens, and he wants to keep on fighting. Polar tries to assassinate Dio, fails, but jo uh, Dio ends up dying anyway, so it doesn't matter. Then Polar leaves off to France, and we don't see him until a few years later, where he's hunting down Stan Arrow in Italy. So fast forward a few years later, and we now are taking place, we have... Polar who went to Italy to hunt down the stand arrow, some stand arrows. Um, so he's doing his investigation stuff, uh, you know, go, taking care of people, trying to just investigating where the stand arrow is. But little did he know that the mob boss Diablo caught wind of this, so he decides to take care of it in his own, to, to take matters to his own hands, and he confronts uh, Polar. Now Polar and Diablo have a battle, um, and Diablo ends up winning the battle using his time ability. Of King of Crimson, um, and Polonar survives the battle, but he does not survive unscathed. He act, he gets crippled. He loses his legs, um, and his eye and his wrist. But later on, he is shown to have his wrist. It was I believe it was his left wrist that's reattached, um, and it's his legs. And he has um, a wheelchair, his own personal silver chariot. 
Um, so now he's going, but then he meets up with Bruno and Diablo's, um, no, just Bruno's gang to fight Diablo. He has a stand there and he's going to give the stand, uh, arrow to Bruno and hopefully give a wrecking arrow, wrecking ability to one of them. Um, but then before this, Bruno accidentally brings in Dopio, um, slash Diablo, not knowing that this was, he thought, he, he was basically blind at this point and he was seeing Trish or he was sensing Trish's aura. Because they were the same or whatever. Um, but then Dopio um, approaches Polonerf and becomes or transforms Dia to, into Diablo. And then Polonerf tries to keep defend himself against Diablo, but unfortunately it didn't work. And he ends up getting donated and he's dead. He dies. Before he dies, he has one final, one last trick up his front sleeve. Silver Chariot Requiem is his trick. So. While in the King Crimson, I don't know, time space, um, Polar managed to impale uh, Silver Chariot with the arrow, activating his Requiem ability. And in thus, his Requiem ability is to make everybody within um, King Crim um, Chariot's Requiem's range fall asleep, and once they awake, they are in um, a different person's body. Whoever was in the surrounding um, area, they switch bodies. So Polonarf switched bodies with the turtle, um, and so the turtle mind died within Polonarf's body, but Polonarf survived within the turtle. Um, that was his last minute thing that he managed to do so we can help Bruno retrieve the arrow and get a Requiem ability to uh, one of the members. So, when, but Silver Chariot um, Requiem is still around because Polonarf is still alive. And his final mission or his final order given to him by Polonarf was to keep the arrow away from Diablo. So now Silver Chariot is just roaming around, Silver Chariot Requiem, I'm sorry, is roaming around with the arrow, just trying his hardest to keep it away from Diablo. Not knowing that Bruno's gang is Diablo. Now his appearance wise, uh, Silver Chariot, let me just tell you his appearance real quick. His appearance is um, like a dark, is a dark black uh, faceless musketeer who's just roaming around now, keeping the arrow away from Bruno. But Bruno's gang tries to retrieve the arrow, um, and whoever, Polonarf even tried to grab the arrow and give it to one of the members, but Chariot Requiem couldn't even recognize Polonarf, so he even tried to attack his own user. Um, but luckily, uh, Mista managed to stop him, um, in, in time. But Paul, Diablo ends up coming up, and he uses King Crimson to attack the gang and try to retrieve the arrow. Before he can do that, or while he's trying to obtain the arrow, he can't grab it because Bruno is about to destroy, he's destroying Chariot Requiem. So he destroys Chariot Requiem, and Chariot is destroyed, and his, and with him, his death, so is his ability. And everyone switches back to normal bodies, ruining uh, Diablo's plan. Um, and then, um, after that, you know, pulling up a standless and bodiless, um, but Jorno ends up getting the stand, and you know what happens next. Gets the Requiem ability, yay, and, you know, ends up putting Diablo in a death loop. But now, what happens at the um, turtle nerf after this? Well, he just goes with Jorno and Mista and Trish, and he's just um, with Jorno now. Yeah, that is, brings the conclusion to Silver Chariot's um, ability. Um, his legacy is over. He lived um, a wonderful life. It was kind of sad for me. Um, I will say that it was kind of sad. I was kind of I like Chariot, you know, pull nerf. Polonarf's fate didn't deserve it. He lost his sister, he lost um, his friends with the Crusaders, and then he lost his stand, uh, a part of him. His stand, a stand is a part of you. It builds upon you. And when you lose your stand, you lose a part of yourself. But yeah, that's all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what else you want me to see, or uh, let me know what else you want to see, or for me to upload. And yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.